Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. I'm a former president of the North American Menopause Society and I sit on the Board of Trustees. And I'm delighted today to be here with Dr. Hollis Herman. Hollis, tell everybody what you do. I'm a physical therapist that is primarily a uh, women's health, men's health, uh, bowel, bladder, sexual function, and so going into more of the realms of uh, activities for those areas. So I hate to say, but as a healthcare provider, often when we think about physio, we think about bones, moans, groans. We don't think about women's health. So for healthcare providers who are focused on midlife women and menopausal women, what do they need to know about what you do? Right. The first is that they need to know that physical therapy really is holistic. So it's not just the pelvis um, and that it's not just uh, the organs that are problematic, but really whole body. So somebody who has a fractured wrist, it can affect the central nervous system and then can affect their hyperarousal and how they're feeling. Um, other things that they can do is to really know that um, there are uh, many things that can be done about blood flow, improving blood flow, improving lubrication, improving positioning, um, making it so that sexual activity can be functionally wonderful. So when it comes to menopausal symptoms, um, pelvic pain, vaginal dryness, is there urgency and incontinence, for example, is there a role for physical therapy? Yes, all of them are related. The m most common predictors for decreased sexual satisfaction are urinary incontinence, fecal incontinence, prolapse and descent of organs, and also fear of penetration. So in order to really help people to manage those things, um, they can then have more satisfaction. And what would be done in a physical therapy session with someone experiencing some of these complaints? Yes, yeah, so for uh, urinary incontinence and fecal incontinence, many of the muscles in the pelvic floor and throughout the pelvis are going to be held too tight. So therefore, just doing more kegels is really not going to be the answer. In most cases, it's the fact that we need to get the muscles to let go and relax in order to then work more efficiently so that they can be relaxed, elastic, and also allow penetration if that's so chosen, and also to make it so that the, um, uh, their functioning is going to be better. And this is all non-invasive? Well, it's within our practice. Since 1993, internal pelvic exam has been part of the guide to physical therapy practice. And so we are, it's part of tests and measurements. And so it's within our scope of practice. So for healthcare providers who seem to draw a blank when it comes to this type, the appropriate woman to refer, number one. And number two, how do you find someone appropriate to refer to? Yes, there are a number of different ways of being able to find a physical therapist who has this training. I've been doing trainings for 35 years. And um, so you can find it through the American Physical Therapy Association.org. And there is a PT locator. So looking up women's health would help you to find who in your area is uh, knowledgeable and has taken extra coursework in order to be able to understand how to deal with the pelvis both inside and out. There's um, hermanandwallace.com, there is uh, pelvicguru.com, my website hollyherman.com, and also dianelee.ca in Canada has uh, lists of physical therapists who are qualified. And if you wanted to give us an example, as a healthcare provider, where should you be thinking, hey, I need to be moving in this direction for my patient to collaborate with this type of therapy? Anybody who talks about having any kind of other um, musculoskeletal disorder, in, order, in other words, to find that they have low back pain, they have upper back pain, they have a broken foot, they have fallen on their tailbone, that they are not able to initiate a stream of urine, that they're feeling like they have to go to the bathroom quite often, that they are having some problems in terms of fullness and descent of the organs. All of that can be helped through physical therapy. A strong message for our healthcare providers. Thank you so much for being with us today. You're very welcome.